Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, as you can see, I've got my kids set up on a new app um, that teaches them programming. It's called Technobabble, and I've got John Howard here, Executive Product Manager. So, John, could you give us a sort of a, a potted introduction to what this app is and why it's so significant? The Make It Tech Bubble kit aims to transform a generation of young digital consumers into digital creators. It's going to target a mainstream, diverse young audience by being fun, easy to use on desktop, tablet or mobile. Uh, the aim is to help users to take the first creative steps, build their confidence and then inspire them to continue their, their learning journey. Now, um, what it is, is a component-based system using um, things, the new ubiquitous device, the tablet and touchscreen as um, as the inspiration for how you engage with, with, with this. So you, you can drag items onto the screen. They're set up with preset uh, uh, components attached. So you can add more components or take them away. But initially, if you, if you have no knowledge whatsoever, you can come and start making games. You can drag a player onto the screen, drag an enemy, drag something to collect, and, and you've created a game. Then you start digging into it and it's got tiered learning so that you realize, I want my player to do something slightly more sophisticated than and just run around the screen, I want it to jump or I want the scene to have gravity, then you can go in and you start digging in and finding finding these these elements. What do you think of Techno Babble Ollie? Really good. But you can just make whatever you if you want and you can make up new rules and choose your own background. I'm gonna add some uh, items in so I can actually win this. I'm gonna choose a star, I'm gonna change it to be quite small. I don't want it to be too big, so I can collect it, then I win. And as you learn, you get more sophistication in, in the games that you can make in the, the output. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see my seven-year-old here is obviously is getting on with it, and I haven't given him any instruction. I've just sat him down with Techno Babble, and essentially he's just been clicking and experimenting, adding things in, trying the different settings, and then clicking go to test it, and then going back and tweaking it. Is that the sort of normal learning pattern, or is, is it a more formal side as well? Uh, across the Make It Digital season, we're looking at uh, both formal and informal resources, and, and th this is heavily in the informal resource. Th th this is about fun. This is um, uh, engaging with that d digital creativity in a fun way uh, that is uh, both both exciting and engaging, but also engages with computational thought. So the, uh, at the moment, this is the beta test. Uh, very exciting because we're going to have that conversation with the kids so they can tell us quite how it's working, how we could simplify it, how, could we, how we could make it better, what features they want. Uh, so when we come to the full launch in early 2015, then, then we'll have taken on board a lot of, a lot, a lot of those findings. But from our, from our perspective, we want to get across some of the core elements of computational thinking, and that's around data processing, decision making, uh, index storage, just abstraction. Again, it's familiar territory. There's some more commercial products like Disney Infinity and Little Big Planet that do a, seem to tread similar ground, um, but have a less of a focus on learning, I guess. But also, there's quite a high barrier to entry. You have to have some specific kit, and also you have to go and buy the game, which is not not that cheap. So, is that one of the big drivers that this is um, it's more accessible to a wider audience? Absolutely. I mean, this is what the BBC can do. It can reach out to um, uh, a, a very wide audience and uh, that's kind of part of our, our, our principles, really. The, the, the BBC purposes are to to be as inclusive as possible. So um, with Make It Techno Bubble, we've made it accessible, we've made it inclusive. So what, what we've got is a method where the kids make a game, then they can press a publish to BBC, BBC and CBBC curates those and puts up their favourites of the week. Yeah, that sounds great. And of course, Technobabble um, hooks into that existing, is it a CBBC or CBB's um, show? It's a CBBC show. It goes out, uh, it's 15 minutes every Sunday morning. It's the the, the, the top, uh, the most viewed show on a Sunday at the moment. Nice. doing really well. So this is a um, so almost like a, a gadget show type programme. Um, so the... Uh, 15 minutes there are two minute slots for apps games and and each of these slots is presented by a vlogger so this is these, these are credible peers with it within that slot we'll be talking about the make it techno bubble and um uh, eventually we'll be showing kids uh how, well games that kids have made but also how to do some clever things with the kit
Nice. And so if you're talking to someone about this, is there one feature that you're sort of particularly proud of or excited about to see what kids do when they get hold of it? What's always amazed me is the emergent behaviour. The, the kids coming up with game ideas that, that we would never have thought of. Uh, for example, one uh, game, a kid put two characters on the left and the right of the screen, split it and then put a different challenge in each, but you got the same controller for the two characters. And we, yeah, we, we hadn't even considered nice. to, like, controlling more than one character. Yeah. And then to follow that up, another kid came on and put 20 characters on the screen and then tried to run those around. It was brilliant. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, super. I um, can't wait to see you know what my kids um, make of it as they experiment. Perhaps they'll, they'll come up with something emergent as well. And also the wider community as more and more people get their hands on it. So we, looked, we look forward to hearing more. Uh, absolutely. So yeah, early 2015 for the big launch and we'll, we'll know that we'll be back in touch. Yeah, super. OK, thanks a lot, John. Thanks, Andy.